Welcome back to Rob's Homemade and today it's Sunday, I'm chilling out, I'm relaxed, everything losing, but you can't have everything, so I'm here for a drinks review, just to drown my sorrows of an Everton defeat as it's heading, I'm 2 nil down, oh well, the season started so well, but now it's going down the pan very quickly. But let's not depress ourselves with football talk. We have 10-4 Brewing Company. It's a brute IPA, crisp, dry and refreshing, light, blonde, blonde blah, 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 blah. pale ale, 5.8% ABV. So it's a strong one. I know I keep saying the same thing on Drew's Review, but look at that can. Why would you not want to buy that? You look on the shelf, there's an average Foster's, average Carling, whatever. And then you see these and you think that looks really tasty. There's a snake on the f couple of Cobras on the front, I think. You can see them there. Great designs. People who design these cans need to get a lot more credit for what they do. The drinks are normally really good, but the designers of these cans need to get a bit more recognition I think so fair play to them and congratulations to whoever designed this can so bless his arm <sighs> right here goes made with British and continental hops this crisp dry and refreshing IPA has a lingering finish of grape and spice Ooh, grape and spice once again specially produced for Albi stores we all knew where I got this from before we even started, so I'm not going to say anything else about it. I'm trying to find the ingredients. It's an average size can, your average Foster's um, beer size can. Um, can't find any ingredients. Brewed in the UK, this can contains a single serving, 2.6 units per 400 ml. And you're supposed to have 14 units a week, so that's about a day's worth. Well, over a day's worth. Um, no, can't find any ingredients. So I'm just going to have to go with the flow. But it's going to be a strong one. 5.8% ABV. I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to that grape and spice. Even though I don't know what the spice is. Smells like a... Average IPA, or this is a brute blonde, sorry. Pale ale. You know it's going to be, you know it's going to be crystal clear. I'm not getting much grape, and I don't know what spice. So, there we are. Like I said, crystal clear, you can't beat that. You can see straight through it. Fantastic. I'm just getting the hops again. I'm not getting no spice or no grape through the smell. So here goes to the Brute IPA Blonde Pale Ale from 10-4 Brewing Company. Cheers and good health in this, I keep saying it, crazy times. And just, it's not getting no better for anybody at the moment. There's a lot of people going back into lockdown for another month shit it's a shit show over the world we're living in at the moment so i hope these videos can keep you entertained even if it's only five ten minutes a day just keep you happy keep you going and look forward to another one so cheers Ooh, ooh, that's the grape you can't smell it in the can or on, in the glass. Mm. That's really good. It, the grape just hits your mouth. It's like, you, it's like when you put a grape in your mouth and you burst it and the flavour explodes in your mouth. That's what that's like. That's... Oh... This 
she I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Every time you take a sip, you get that great flavour. Like it's just bursting in your mouth. That's so good. That's got to be in my top five, without a shadow of a doubt. I'm going back to Albina B. I'm going to grab me some more of these. Brute IPA, crisp, dry, refreshing, light blonde pale ale. That grape, I don't get much spice, but that grape burst is awesome. It's the taste and the flavour. Great. So if you're in your local Aldi store, take a look at 10-4 Brewing Company. Brute IPA, Blonde Pale Ale, because that's getting a nine. That is getting a nine. I didn't, from the smell of it, I was probably going to go six or seven. But once you take that first sip and the grape flavour bursts in your mouth, it takes it to another level. It takes the flavour and the taste of the IPA. The brute blonde to a complete other level which your average lager ciders whatever don't do it's just same taste all the way down next sip same taste all the way down which is nice if you like but i when i love trying these i love the different flavors the different aspects the different that's why i keep doing drinks reviews they're not the most popular videos i do and i know that but i'll keep doing them because I enjoy doing them and I know there's a lot of people who watch my videos who do like the drinks reviews, who do like a drink so if I can persuade them one way or another not to buy or to buy well it's their choice at the end of the day but that's a banger, it's an absolute banger of a nail, I'm definitely getting some more of these, cheers. there is that sweet white grape flavor it just it just pings all around your mouth while you're taking the next sip i'm going shopping in a minute <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the review of 10-4 brewing company brew ipa go and get yourself a can of it. If you like your IPAs, you like your beers, go and get yourself one of these because I promise you, you will not be disappointed at all in that can. It's an absolute banger and it gets a nine for me. Wonderful, wonderful product. 10-4 Brewing Company. I'm going to keep an eye out for some more of their stuff because if that's anything to go by, other beers, other IPAs are going to be banging. So I'm definitely going to be looking again for one of those. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, press the bell, the notification, turn on your notifications, press it all. So when I upload, <coughs> or me and John upload together, you will get every single notification of videos that we upload. So thank you very much. I'm going to go and finish this beautiful, beautiful IPA. Mm. Peace.